give you thanks, God. You've fed us again in the food of life. Help us to make the choice that that food gives us the power to do, to go forth, believing and trusting in you and knowing that our lives are valuable to you and you call us to live. In Jesus' name, amen. So, let us now gather together and stand and sing together. Cookoff, which is a fundraiser on uh, next Sunday at 12:30. Um, this, the proceeds of the sale will go to help the young adult ministry to go on retreat later on this year. So um, let me see, let me see. Knut Panknin. Uh, when Knut comes back uh, out to the welcome hall, he can answer any questions that you might have and what the implications are for getting chili from the end of this service. Um, so that you can help to support the young adult ministry. If you know uh, Keith Richardson and uh, Buck Daniel Carlson, uh, they uh, are long-term members of the church. Um, Keith is in a nursing home, uh, and he's, uh, he gets around in a wheelchair. On March 11th, which is a Saturday at 3 p.m., Keith and Buck will be celebrating a holy union uh, right here at MCCDC. And so if you would like to attend that Blessed event is open to the entire congregation. 
And now we have an announcement for our 2017 Lenten devotional series. Yes, Pamela, could you come up, please? And would everybody please open to the inside folder, the open fold, and then look at the back. Yes. Do not look dismal like others, but by your Creator, who do not store up for yourselves steel. Store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth, where, <clears throat> sorry, store up treasures, store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Please write a few words in response to the daily questions. Your responses will be formed into daily devotionals during Lent. Thank you, Ms. Pamela. Okay, so number one, list some words or phrases that you associate with fasting. Fasting. Could you do me a favor? I've got pencils if you need. You don't need full sentences. You don't need correct spelling. But I am going to ask you to pass them in. Okay? When we do the devotionals each Lent, this is our second year of doing them, some people just aren't writers. It's not their thing to write paragraphs, to comment on scripture. And so it divides people who would like this type of activity and who don't. And so this is my opportunity to get everybody to participate, even if you don't think of yourself as a writer. Question number two. What are one or mean by your creator? that are not seen by your creator, right? Did I say that right? That are seen only by your creator. What's being described here in the scripture? What are some things we do that are seen only by our creator? And thirdly, don't worry about sentences or spelling. Don't put your name on it. Please just brainstorm. Don't edit yourself. How do you envision treasures in heaven? So the Devotionals Project is doing the exact same thing. You sign up for a piece of scripture that comes from our denominational office this year, Naked Faith. Review. Please send me an email. The, it's announced in your bulletin where I, or reach Reverend Kathy. And that's it for me. I'm just going to ask you to pass these forward. of the worship folders if you would like to participate in our Lenten series beyond what you've just participated in. These will be uh, collected and um, Frank will compile them and you, we will use your thoughts in this year's Lenten devotional series. This series is an email based series. Uh, be on email and Facebook and constant contact through an e-blast. So if you're not on our e-blast mailing list, please uh, see me or send an email to the church office saying that you'd like to be on our e-blast list. These daily devotionals, they come at 6 in the morning and you can read them at any time during the day for inspiration. Lent starts on Wednesday, March 1st, which is Ash Wednesday, relatively uh, soon this year. And then Easter will be on April 16th this year, which is about normal. Uh, and for those of you who are watching the video or live stream, if you would go to mccdc.com and go to the prayer uh, tab and just send us the information, if you would like some information on the devotional series, we'll send that back to you by email. Thank you. Our closing hymn is number 610, Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory. We're going to sing the first verse and the refrain a couple of times. So one verse and two refrains. Have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord, who 
was trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored, and has loosed the faithful lightning of a terrible sword. God's truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. God's truth is marching on. God's truth is here for us. It touches us. It informs us. It can guide us. It can help us to choose life. Therefore, go forth, my friends, trusting in all you receive from God and from the Holy Spirit, from Jesus, our Savior, to choose life, to live life, to be all you can be. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. God's truth is marching on. God's truth is here for us. It touches us. It informs us. It can guide us. It can help us to choose life. Therefore, go forth, my friends, trusting in all you receive from God and from the Holy Spirit, from Jesus, our Savior, to choose life, to live life, to be all you can be. Amen. To choose life, to live life, to be all you can be. Amen.